Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Before I get to this video, I'm gonna say thank you to all of you who subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, if you wanna come in and ask me questions, I'll um, come back. So let's get into this video. Um, this video will be a update, a 10 month update for Miss Riley. So let's get into this video. She weighs um, about 17 pounds since her last doctor visit, and that was her nine month checkup. And I can't remember how, um, how many inches she is, but I know she's probably gonna be on the short side, like my mama and my sister. But um, she's been healthy so far. Um, I only had, we only had one big scare, but I'll get into that um, in a minute. Um, she was breastfed until she was eight months. I did good with breastfeeding. Um, it was very time consuming and it took a lot of patience with me because at some point she didn't want a bot to take a bottle. She just wanted to nurse. That really like bothered me because I'm not a public breastfeeder. I don't just pop my boob out and feed my daughter because that's just, I don't feel comfortable and that's just me. So um, that was one reason why I stopped. Um, another reason was because I just felt like I wanted to go, well, I was going back to work and trying to go back to work and she not taking a bottle. I didn't want to, her to cry it out or whatever that little method is. Um, she is on formula now, uh, the Good Start formula, which is expensive, but I'm not complaining because it could be worse. She could be still nursing. <laughs> so, um, I'm happy about that, that she's now finally taking a bottle. Um, we did at, let's see, I want to say eight months, we did experience her first real sickness, which was a UTI and a febrile seizure. Now... We didn't know that she had a UTI until we took her to the emergency room that night. She spiked a 105 fever, and since it spiked up so fast, then she that's when the seizure occurred. And she only had one during that time, but that lasted about two weeks. And during those two weeks, I think that she really wasn't eating or drinking because she did start her solid foods then, but... With that fever being constantly high, she wasn't in an eating mood. So that's why I think her weight kind of went like, level. it leveled out. It's not going up anymore, it just leveled out. But I'm pretty sure like her her eating has picked, her appetite has picked up. It's been then picked up. Um, she started crawling at seven months. Her sister, my first daughter, did the same thing. She was a fast crawler. Um, do you got anything to say? Huh? You want to say something? She is a talker, you guys. So she'll sit and have a conversation. Just don't try to hold her because she'll be like, uh, don't touch me. So, <laughs> um, she started walking at 10 months. She is walking, you guys. I insert a clip. Um, in this video of her taking her first step. I'm so excited because not only is I, not only am I um, seeing her being so independent, but I'm also seeing her interact with my four-year-old more, and that's like really good because now my four-year-old could like really like um, play with her and keep her um, occupied while I'm cleaning the house or cooking or whatever. So that's really like a plus with her walking at ten months. She is short to be walking, so. Um, we're happy about that. I did want to go purchase her, purchase her those walking shoes. You know, like the walking shoes we used to wear back in the day. You know, the flat bottoms. But they didn't have um, 
they didn't have her size and they didn't have them in black. I don't want to buy her white shoes because I just feel like kids and white shoes don't go together. With Zaya, my first daughter, I didn't buy her the walking shoes because I couldn't find them nowhere. Like, nobody had them. But um, now I've just purchased, since she's walking now, I've purchased, purchased her some um, little flats, ballerina flats. Um, that she could walk in that are flat bottom and um, I got those from the children's place I don't have them with me right now. I, they're probably in a bag up front somewhere Now also with her being a walker um, Learning to talk um, her just growing she also develops sleep regression and if you don't know what sleep regression is it's basically how I interpret it by reading um, some articles about it they went once they hit like a growth spurt then their mind just begins to go 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 because they learn so many new things um, during each milestone and so when she would go to sleep like she would wake up like around maybe 11 if she go to bed normally she goes to bed around 9 o'clock and she'll wake up about 12 and then she won't go back to sleep until 4 o'clock in the morning like we experienced that for two weeks you guys it didn't matter if I uh, put her down for two naps a day like that's all, all she had was two naps a day she didn't go to sleep after maybe 4 30 but she still would be up no matter what I tried so um that she's just now getting better with her sleep habits i don't want to jinx it but before then she would sleep during the night she wouldn't wake up for a bottle or anything and with that i know people say it's not good to feed them um during the night but she only wakes up one time i that happened with Zot, my first daughter like she would wake up for a bottle um during the night so to each child is different if your child can sleep during the night then kudos but every child is not the same and don't try to force your child to sleep because sometimes even as adult adults we get hungry during the night and we get up and snack so don't try to you know force your your baby down if they want to wake up for a bottle so that's my take on that. Um, like I said, her eating habits are good. She's starting to eat um, real food. She eat whatever Zaya, my um, oldest daughter Zaya eats. Um, she, matter of fact, she finished whatever she don't eat. Like she'll eat her plate, my plate, her dad plate, and her sister plate. Like the girl just eats. She's happy when she eats. Um, she dances when she eats. So she's not going to be picky. One thing I do regret with my first daughter is not letting her try different foods at a young age. So now she's very, very picky. With her, she eats fruit, um, vegetables. Um, she'll try anything. And I haven't found too much of anything that she might not like. Um, with the little squeezy things, um, I, I don't know what they're called. But she doesn't. I know she doesn't like anything with plum, prune, or anything that's purple looking. She loves the carrots, sweet potatoes, anything of that nature. So I'm so happy that I don't have a picky eater with her, like I did with Zai, when she's four years four years old, and um, she still is picky. Um, we're getting a lot of questions on, um, like what we're gonna do since my. Both of their birthdays are on holidays. This year, Riley's birthday doesn't fall on Thanksgiving necessarily. It falls on Black Friday. Um, and Zaya's birthday is still going to be on Christmas Day. But um, we might go home for her first birthday. I'm not sure. Because Zaya will be five and I'm trying to do something big for her birthday. And it's her first birthday. So, you guys, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, where's time going? You know, we're, we're already almost at the end of October and that's crazy but um it's nothing more to this video that I could add um she's progressing very good she knows her um she can recognize the ABCs um she know how she like when I count tell bedtime stories Zaya wasn't into that when she was her age like I was reading to her and Zaya be trying to take the book eat it and everything else she likes to sit and listen and read and i mean and try, well, try to read herself like i think it's because she has an older sibling that she's trying to do everything um that her sister does but that's it for this video you guys it's nothing to add other than 
Um, I'm happy to be her mother. <laughs> um, bye bye. Say bye bye. So thank you guys again for subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And if you have any questions, like I said, um, comment them below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And thank you guys for watching and you guys enjoy your holidays.